started in just about one minute, so if everyone could gather, maintain social distancing, we'll get started in about one minute. Michael. <laughs> Aside from children, we'd ask for everyone just to observe some silence quickly as we get started. Good evening, everyone. My name is Coach Bree Nichols. I'm a youth advocate in the city, a community organizer, and a parent, most importantly. And I want to extend my deepest condolences to your family this evening. And I want to let you know that the community of Brockton is here to love on you guys and support you all as you guys experience this tragedy. I'd like to now introduce the family's pastor to come up and ground us in some prayer. If everyone could close their eyes, please. I'd like to read from Psalms 34 as we pray. It says, The Lord hears his people when they call to him for help. He rescues those from all their troubles. The Lord is close to the brokenhearted. He rescues those whose spirits are crushed. So, Father, we come to you today. Our spirits are crushed. We come, Lord, mourning Tiago and Raphael. And we come believing, Lord, that in our mourning, you meet with us. In our mourning, you, you cry with us. You, Lord, who are close to the brokenhearted. Father, you, only you can truly understand the pain, the suffering of these moments. But also, God, we come because we find hope in you. For you know what it means to suffer. You sent your son, Jesus Christ, on our behalf, to suffer on our behalf, but also to give us hope beyond this life. And we pray in this moment that you would make that hope so real and so evident to the families, to the friends, the loved ones, and to this community, God. We just pray right now that you would bring a sense of supernatural peace and hope and strength as only you can. Overwhelm this community with your presence, God. The next few days and months, we pray, God, continue to pour out your presence your peace, your supernatural protection of love and grace. Spirit of God, fall on us and give us your strength as we mourn. But we find hope in you, we find solace in you, we find peace in you. And Father, we also thank you that death is not a period, it's a comma. We trust that we live on with you. So Spirit of Jesus, Give us your peace, for you are close to the brokenhearted. 
We pray in your holy name. Amen. Thank you, Pastor. So now at this time, we'd like to begin to light everyone's candles and hold space for a moment of silence as we prepare for a member of these young boys' family to come up and speak. If we can maintain silence as the candles are being lit. My name is Myra. I am Tiago and Raphael's aunt. And I'm just going to say thank you. First, I want to thank you all for coming out to support us. Um, I can't remember anything really well right now, so I just wanted to not forget anybody. I want to thank Bree and Michael for organizing this tonight. I want to thank Bree and Michael for organizing the vigil tonight. I also wanted to thank the first responders, um, Mayor Sullivan and the other elected officials who reached out and the community organizations who reached out as well. Um, the Cape Verdean Association, our pastor, Pastor Michael, the South Middle School and the Raymond Elementary. And I especially want to thank the community of Brockton, um, we get a bad rap, but look at how we come out and support each other when we need it. And that's what counts. And I just want to thank you all for all the prayers and support. Thank you. All right. It's hard. 
hard to know what to say after. It's hard to know how to support after such a tragedy. What else can we do besides exactly what we're doing right now? And surround this family with love, care, and compassion. Next, I'd like to introduce Mayor Sullivan. Good evening. On behalf of the city of Brockton, I just want to say that you are in our thoughts and in our prayers. Tragedy. As a, a dad, as a parent, I don't have the answers for you. But as a Catholic and a Christian, I can tell you that Tiago and Raphael are in heaven. And they are being in the grace of God right now. And I hope that that will bring you comfort. And as a community, I ask you to please lean on us. Anything that we can do, we will do. The superintendent and I visited South Middle School today. Your sons, your nephews, your relatives, they were loved. They were loved by all when we were there. That was evidenced. So tonight, I just want to say I am so, so sorry for your loss. God bless each and every one of you. Next, I'd like to introduce a member of the community that works directly in relationship with many of the youth in the city, many that may be hurting right now and needing some support. I'd like to introduce John Williams. I work with a lot of our city's young people and going through the schools and seeing how, how not only our young people but just people in general are hurt. It's, it's amazing to see our, our city come together, you know, around such a tragedy. But we can turn tragedy into triumph and just build build off of this. We need we need our young people to It's hard. If you see how much love and support has been shown throughout not only our school department, but throughout our city for this tragedy, I don't have many words to say. I just want to let you know that I've seen so much support and I know a lot of our young people and did not know those two, but to see how much just love is being shown, it's, it's unbelievable. Um, I don't know them, but to see how much is shown, they must have been great young men. <sighs> no words, no words. There are really no words, absolutely none that we can comprised to comfort this family. I see someone in the crowd that I'd like to recognize at this time. Baldo is one of the first people to jump in the water. He did not know these young men. He was no family relation to them. But as someone, a member of this community, he felt a need to go after and try to save them. I think we need to pay special attention to 
the people in the city that do it just because. We thank him. And there's a other, another young man by the name of Yannick. I don't see him in the crowd right now, but he also jumped in with Valdo. At a time where we're hurting, there is no other way for us to be able to grieve than to do it like this. There's no proper way. This is the only way for us to support each other as a community. I see all of your faces here tonight, young, especially the young kids. And most importantly, myself as a parent, and this peaceful energy is felt and that this family sees the support around them. The community of Brockton has come together and in less than 24 hours, we have raised about $15,000 for this family. And not that any dollar amount could help them in this tragedy or could ease their pain. But what we can do as a community is support them and make sure that this is one thing that they don't have to worry about. So I wanna thank everyone that has shared it, that has donated to it, that showed up here tonight. It is important that we keep this momentum. It is important that we remember that we are a family here in Brockton. We are the city of champions and this is what it looks like. Next up, I'd like to bring Sharon Baker up of Life After Death. everybody, to the family. To the mothers, to the brothers, to the aunts, the uncles, most of all, the community. We are here to support you. I stand before you tonight I share your pain, I feel your pain, I feel the love, I feel the energy and the atmosphere on tonight. Andre, Tiago, Raphael, we love you. To the mothers, I know what it is to lose a loss, of not a, a son, a child. I lost my son to gun violence here in the city of Brockton. I'm here to stand before you mothers, fathers, brothers, uncles, aunts. The pain does not go away. The pain, it does ease up. The pain I share with you tonight and I want to tell you all, I love you, we love you. Anything that life after death can do for you, I'm a phone call away. Myra, Michael, all of you, I love you.
we're here. And all we can be is here. We don't know this pain. Surround this family. Know their faces. Know their struggle. And surround them as you are right now. As a mother, I cannot imagine. I did not know these young boys either. But as a member of a, of a community of champions that thrives on sticking together through times of adversity, we are here. I thank everyone for coming out tonight. I thank you all for being here. There is no other place that we belonged tonight other than to be here with this family. These are our babies in the city. They belong to us all. had a few other speakers and reasonably so people are not able to speak right now so the only thing that we ask is for everyone to share the GoFundMe it is a legitimate GoFundMe that the family is aware of and those funds will be allocated directly to the family they will go towards funeral and burial services and anything that may come up in this time of need please do continue to share it. If you need to search it, it is titled Support for Young Lives Lost at DW Field Park. Thank you again. Please everyone travel home safely. If there is any trash around you, we just ask that everyone is responsible for picking up anything that is left as this is a public area and wildlife exists here. So please do pick up any trash. And again, thank you all for coming out. If you have any questions, please feel free to direct them to myself or Michael Noons. And respect the family's privacy at this time as they grieve. As well as if anyone needs support, if anyone needs some guidance, if anyone just needs someone to talk to, you have myself, you have John Williams, Sharon Baker, school adjustment counselors, and anybody that's standing out here that's coming to share this light and love with us. In the midst of COVID, I have to say hug on your neighbor. If you are comfortable, if you're vaccinated, provide hugs. We need that kind of energy again. Thank you all. Hello, how's everyone doing? Hope everybody's all right. First, I want to say to the family, I'm sorry. It's, it haven't been one day, and every day goes by. I haven't been sleeping. I'm traumatized. It, it's a scary moment. Like, right when I hear the scream, and then I, I heard there was children, and then Yannick, who was with me, was like, oh, I'm going to call the, the, emergency, the emergency team. I said no by the time they they're here, it will be too late. They're kids under the water, so the only choice I had was to jump in. I spent hour under excuse me, I spent one hour in the cold water going everywhere looking, but I couldn't find them because it was too dark and they could have probably been 10 feet away from me and I couldn't find them and I tried my best and my best. And I'm sorry for the family, I tried. I, I blame myself because I could have saved them. They were right, they were right there, I seen them.
not a hero. I'm not. I, I didn't save them. I'm not a hero. I didn't save them, but I could have. I could have. I tried my best. My name is Gamaliel Latour. I'm a community organizer with Brockton and Faith Community. On behalf of Vic and Amcan, my heart, my condolences go out to the family for such a tragic loss. As a father, as a parent of four kids, it truly hurts my heart for you to go through this right now. And young man, you should not blame yourself for trying to save somebody's life. In my book, you're a hero. That's what heroes do, they try. Don't blame yourself. And if you need the resources, reach out. Family, reach out, get the resources you need to grieve because you deserve that. You have to go through that process. And if you need a hand to go through that process with, we're here as community and, we sh and professional services should be allowed for that too. Whatever you need to do in order to, to, to be able to cope right now and not blame yourself. Do that. We're here to support you. The community here supports you. I just, if, if you have a baby here or a kid here with you, please hug them. Let them know how much they are loved. Our city is in mourning right now. Outside of just these two young boys, there's another young man, Adam Gomes, that recently lost his life. We're in times that are unimaginable, unprecedented. We have to be the example to show kids how to heal. We have to show them that it's okay to go through because you'll get through. I didn't know what else to do today other than to start a healing process here. Other than to just be around other people that understand what we're going through right now. To surround this family with people that understand what they're going through right now. I see so many babies out here right now, and I, I say babies not because they're infants, but these are our babies in the city. I look at the superintendent right now, and he's responsible for our babies in this school system. So I can't imagine the type of support that he'd need right now to make sure that his staff are equipped to be able to deal with the trauma that these kids are experiencing from a pandemic to tragedy. I think we all don't know what to say. We all don't know where to go. We all don't know what to do. I thank Valdo for coming up here and just being candid with us. I can't imagine what it felt like to be anyone that was in the park in that moment that this happened. Kiss your baby extra tonight. If you pray, pray extra hard tonight. Include this family in your prayers.
thank you all. Don't blow out these candles tonight. If it's safe and you can carry this light on, carry it on as long as you can tonight. Hold these candles. They represent the love that is within us burning. As it gets dark tonight, we are lighting up the sky. I'm gonna ask, can the camera crews turn off their lights, please? Everybody hold up your candle. My brother William Dickerson is here as a father first and as an organizer in this community. And before we leave here tonight, we're gonna leave with song. In moments like these, I lift up my hands. I lift up my hands to you, Lord. In moments like these, I lift up my hands, I lift up my hands to you, Lord. Singing, please heal us, Lord. Singing, please heal us, Lord. Singing, please, please heal us, Lord. Please heal us. In moments like these, I lift up a prayer. I lift up a prayer to you, Lord. In moments like these, I lift up a prayer. I lift up a prayer to you, Lord. Singing, please heal us, Lord. Singing, please heal us, Lord. Singing, please, please heal us, Lord.
It is now 9, uh, excuse me, 8.35. I want to thank the city for their accommodations very quickly and swiftly. I was on the phone all day today making sure that everything would be okay and that there was nothing to worry about and I just have to thank the city of champions. I mean, I've, I've never seen anything move so quickly in this city. <laughs> and that's just to bring a little light energy here, guys. So again, thank you to everyone that participated. We had multiple members of the community jump in to assist. Myself and Michael Noons put together the GoFundMe. Amar Reed and Felicia Damon assisted us in putting together a vigil. And together, the, cum the community as a whole came together. I'm so proud of us. Let me say that again. I am so proud of us, Brockton. Go ahead, give it a clap. Be proud of yourself as a city for coming in and showing support in this way. Letting this family know that any one of us they can reach out to if they need to just cry, if they need to talk, if they just need to be silent and hear someone breathe on the phone. We're here for all of that. So as we start to come to an end with this event, again, I ask everyone, keep those candles lit. If you choose to, if you have a glass one, only the glass candles, you can leave them in the area up at the front. We ask that nothing is left in this particular area because ducks and things do come around this way and it'll leave a lot of trash. So if you'd like to write on your candle, you can do so and leave it up at the front. If you have balloons that you'd like to leave, those can also be attached to the small sandbox that's up at the front. There are already some things placed there so that you all know where to start. If you have a wax candle, don't let it burn your hand, but let it burn. To the Noons family, the Andre family, and any other families that are directly connected to these young boys, I think I'm comfortable to say on the behalf of the city of Brockton as a whole, we extend our deepest condolences and send you guys all the love that we have to give. Thank you for trusting us with organizing something to remember your young boys and honor their lives. And again, if there's anything that I or anyone here can do, you're not alone and reach out to us. Kids too. Thank you.